Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Phase Factory, uh, which seems to be kind of like a puzzle automation RPG where you're doing like a magic, where, where you're engaging with the magical industrial revolution. Look, I have no idea. Resume applying for a position of chief factory overseer. Oh, cool. We can change what we look like. So, male, female. Uh, let's see. White as can be. Hairstyle. Uh, let's see. Give me some red hair. Today's feels like red hair day. <laughs> oh boy, do we want to be Bob from middle management. What else have we got? Otherwise we could be, uh, Snob Ross. I, I like the, uh, I like the options we've got here. Like it works with the low poly. This is, I don't know, Chad from accounting, but Bob from middle management is weirdly tempting. Let's see, do they have Karen hair? Kind of? Yes? Absolutely. Eyebrows. Can I have, like, more eyebrows? Beard. Oh! Bessie, this changes some things. We got some hella beard. We got some hella beard going on right now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Actually, we could just be dad. <laughs> <laughs> Disapproving father. Son? I heard you're messing with magic. I've come to figure out if you're doing it right or not. <laughs> Be dad. Alright. Uh, let's see. Past. What are your pasts? Amnesia. World understanding lost in, in the accident. Absolutely. Actually, well, I don't know. I could also do political junkie. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do we want to do political junkie? Because Amnesiac doesn't really work with dad, though it is kind of funny. Uh, with the idea, <laughs> Amnesia, I know I'm dad, but not who's dad. <laughs> oh, I like that. Let's do it. Uh, you've mysteriously lost your memory, and with it, any understanding of basic concepts of life, society, and politics. People will be weirded out and fascinated by you. Your perspective is one of mystery. Against all odds, piece together what has happened to you. Absolutely. <laughs> I forgot where he left the kids. <laughs> all right. Uh, what is your initial signature skill? You'll further improve all of these throughout the game. Capitalism, communism, centrism, nihilism, or lockpicking. <laughs> one of these is not like the other. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Look at those tiny hands. <laughs> You're really good at picking locks. Nihilistic, so what is them? Put on the black sunglasses and reject God. You are so cool. You really don't care about anything or anyone. Any debate you take part of falls apart completely. Because no one wants to argue with your signature. Well, yeah, so what? Centristic, being a dumb person ism. Maybe you think that there should be a dialogue between both sides. Perhaps you have friends from across the aisle, or possibly you don't follow politics at all. But either way, it takes a lot of skill and willpower to be unrelenting in your pursuit of complete unremarkability. Communistic, uh, think about the workerism. In every situation, you, a middle management factory overseer, can invoke the imagery theoretical worker, uh, imaginary theoretical worker to prove your point. It takes quite a skill to make this worker be an argument to all your ideas. Perhaps you even will meet some real workers. Or capitalism. What about ism? Every time someone points out any flaw in, cap uh, in the capitalistic way of life, you are to steer the conversation in a completely unrelated direction while completely ignoring the other person's point. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, I think we're going to go lockpicking. We're also fun at parties. Uh, let's see. What are your pronouns? Sweet. Avoid pronouns. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Name lost. We straight up just don't have one. Oh, <laughs> uh, but no, we are dead. I, I love the fact that you have avoid pronouns. Like, these are some options here. I kind of like that. Uh, but our name is dad. What is our salary? How much money are you hoping to earn at our ca at our company? 350. Uh, as an amnesiac, you have no concept of money, salary, currency, and it's specifically the capital. Just write what you feel like you deserve. Not too little, though, or too much. <laughs> this is amazing! 
Isaac! Mysterious applicant who completely lost understanding of the world and is good at picking locks. You sure that's gonna fly? Seeks a job. Will <laughs> work for almost no money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Three fi three fifty is really tempting, but what happens if un unlimited money? What does it change? <laughs> oh boy! Mysterious applicant who completely lost understanding of the world is good at picking locks. Seeks a job. Also, screw you, give me all the money. Hi, <laughs> <I'm> mom. <laughs> oh, this is special. Demonstration festival. Oh, God. Where are we going with this? Oh, wait, are we just going to completely different character? <laughs> Your travels bring you to the Zavod, an art gallery where the demonstration festival takes place. Faye is here to get, talk about the uh, about revolutionizing the sorcery industry. You were supposed to do the revolutionizing. <laughs> also, please get the tickets. What am I doing? Okay, I can highlight things. What is this thing? A toy made out of you. Very springy. You grab it. A handmade, a handmade parchments advertising the festival events. One of the smaller papers reads, Faye of the fourth cartel will submerge you in the new and exciting world of magic stage 6a oh a small gear wheel made of dark iron a reminder that you have no experience with engineering still you quickly snatch it you never know right what do you need all this rubbish for a delivery manifest you think looks very industrial you notice that some delivery time slots are more crowded than others Ticket machine of the Zavod. Screeching and thumping, exquisite machine proudly announces its purpose with a sign. Age of automation is here. Manual labor is dead. Ticketer, ticketeer of the Zavod. Alongside it stands a lonely employee who looks fed up with, la with labor to the max. Try your luck with the machine. The humor on this game straight up is like, it feels like it's distilled disco Elysium and I love it. You, overseer of Faze Factory. You approach the machine carefully. The ticket seller watches you with no interest at all. Odds are in your favor. Put all parts you've collected to good use. Dice roll. Found things. Tricky check. Absolutely. Success. You masterfully take one apart, then another, and then finally, it reacts. The wheel starts screeching heavier, and some printing process begins, you think. The ticketeer is not surprised by all of this. If anything, he seems somehow even more annoyed. Finally, the machine spews out a piece of paper into your hands. Read it. Unauthorized modifications have been detected. Please stop effing around with our machine and call personnel to help. Okay, okay, you've won. The ticket clerk says in a surprisingly deep voice. Now, can I help you? This machine of... This machine of yours, let me tell you. The ticket, all I wanted. I declare this machine of yours a complete failure. He snorts, gives the machine a look, then shakes his head, and finally responds, I suppose. Runs his eyes through the guest list in his hands. Who are you exactly? Uh... We go, we go on adventures, do magical... Wait, no, sorry, this is the wrong dad voice. We go on adventures, do magical, magical duels, and try to navigate the horrors of capitalism. We live our best lives here. Faye, Overseer, and all of the factory's employees. Oh my god, these are bad. Huh? Ah, what factory? The one that produces spells! You wave at a factory, hovering over the ground be behind you. Do you no understanding of politics of our world at all? Huh, suppose I'm not that interested in modern entertainment, he says genuinely. Waste of marketing opportunity. You shrug in response. Well, anyway, looks through his notepad. Yeah, sure. Fave the fourth cart fourth cartel. And her plus one. It looks at you in the factory in the sky. He shrugs, then writes your ticket on a piece of paper by hand. And puts it in the machine slot you haven't noticed before. The ticket comes out with a little stamp. I wish you an enjoyable demonstration festival, he says, in a tone forever devoid of any joy, and gives you your ticket. Time to report your success. You can always talk to your sorceress if you don't know what to do. 
Your sorceress, with whom you've been traveling for some time, reads lines from her speech, her talk speech, memorizing them, thus maximizing the worker per spell ratio. Oh, overseer, you've got your tickets yet? We are good to go. You hold your tickets proudly. I did. Great, let's get moving. She collects her pages into the binder, stretches, and then looks forward. I spotted a giant queue over there. Try to land us to the side of the crowd, yeah? Travel further. Open map. Uh, skip arc. Okay, this is the skip arc by which you arrived to the, to the adventure. Duel, possibly. Conflict vibrations are in the air. You should prepare for a fight, probably. What? What am I doing? The Zavod. This factor is not afraid to ask the boldest questions, such as... Is there enough space for an art gallery here? What is happening? The queue to the gallery is indeed enormous. Of course, your tickets grant you a fast pass, but there is no way to feel sorry for the common folk. I feel sorry for the common folk. Or, no, we're full dad. We have to roleplay dad. Well, you just have to work hard enough and earn yourself a fast pass like I did. You are my little worker, working harder than anybody. Will you contemplate the fate of the folk? Another skipping sound makes everyone flinch again. The academy student, student appears out of nowhere, landing in almost the same spot as you've took. His haircut is probably the latest fashion in season. His jacket definitely is. He looks like me! Oh, excuse us, Faye moves a little bit to the side. Eri, hi. Your internship going well? Hey, hello. Overseer, how's your memory? Feeling any better? He gives you a slight nod. Ooh, you remembered your amnesia from the last time you met. What does it mean? The line of uh, the Q crowd, bored to death of waiting, is livening, livening up a bit at the sight of two mighty sorcerers. Noticing this, Faye smiles impishly to Eri. In a more pretentious than usual tone, he says, looking towards the people, Our duty is to produce some entertainment content. With that, they both take dual positions and assume polished battle poses. Overseer, this is no place for you. Uh, there's no place for you on the battlefield. With a wave of a hand, Faye skips you to her desk. S skips you to your desk. Workers cheer as you assume control of the factory. Time to show off your middle management skills. <laughs> this is so confusing. What is going on? Okay, Faye's factory, turn one. Departments, get ready. Drag spell compartments. Okay. So we can drag this to here. Produces a random spell. Uh, so shock, plus four damage. Little tunnels underneath your feet. Plus one damage and plus one for every use on this turn. Gold, maybe? And if I did ice, okay. So if I put gold into this, reusable, plus one damage, plus one for every use this turn. Random spell, this. So let's queue that up. Random spell, four damage. And I could potentially put that in. We don't have any ice. So let's just do that. Oh, which gets me an ice spell. There we go. So we get one gold plus damage. Did we hit him with a coin? I think we did. Okay, turn... Oh, I see. This is their factory. I like it how that opened up the fridge. This is grim. Every aspect of this is confusing. Ow. That's some damage. Well. There we go. Just zap him. Uh, let's see, and the game is also actually a little loud. I never turned it down. That would explain some things. Factory still gets plus nine style points. It's nice to see sorceresses trying new factories, even if to mixed results. Sorcerer and former. Huzzah! Not able to withstand Faye's great spelling work. Eri finally yields. Girl, when did you learn a spell like this? Breathing heavily, Faye laughs. You learn a lot outside the walls of the academy. He chuckles in response. I should get expelled as well then. Meanwhile, the crowd is overjoyed in the background. The queue has not moved for a while, and more festival attendees are arriving every minute. People are growing in numbers fast. Anyways, see you inside, Faye. He waves to Faye and the crowd, then skips away for without a second thought. This time, he did not mention you. What does that mean? 
We should go in as well, Faye says to you. Using a sorcerer overseer mental sor sorcerer overseer mental link between you. What? What? Gift area. Receive your greetings, gifts, and training lectures here. What? What, what is going on? What is anything? I'm lost. Greetings, Miss Fay. A tall man in an impeccable suit shows the sorceress in. Sir Lavon wishes to express his gratitude for your participation in our humble event. Butler Birdie, Hands of the Festival. A shorter man in a suit of less impeccable impeccability appears, pushing boxes with his shoulder and carrying more boxes in his hands. He puts everything before Faye and wipes sweat from his forehead. Here's a small gift basket, which we picked for you. The suit gestures towards the wooden crates. Some small, some gigantic, some human-sized. Relay my greatest thanks to Sir Lavon. Faye says and nods with precision, demonstrating her etiquette lessons. Overseer, would you do the unpacking honors? Gift, look for your new department in the inventory. Don't forget to greet the workers, except... New engine is in your inventory. Stock up on the before oak and fire it up in tense situations. Okay, click this or you can scroll down. Open building mode, build a factory. So, Vault of Spells. Holds your spell until next turn. Uh, select rival department to freeze. Air goes cold. Fire damage gets plus one for two turns. Uh, let's see. Break department. Once per duel, does nothing. Extra spells to the working class. And on duel start, time for, uh, for one turn, gold damage plus one. If placed into inventory, get two random spells. I'm just going to hold on to a couple of these. I'm just going to confirm layout for the time being. I don't know what half of these are even used for. Uh, but it's fine. Okay. This is weird. This is... I, I don't... I don't even know what I'm playing, really. Your talent for factory building is unrivaled, Miss Faye. Yet, that's not quite everything, he nods to his associate. Little Butler opens another box. You see an intricately designed department core. You get two refined cores. You get one perfected core. All of your departments have one like this, of course, but this one is way more complex. As a personal thanks for participating, Sir Levon grants you this token of Hundred Kingdoms ingenuity. Be careful, as this is an artifact of great power. Then I shall entrust it to my most competent hands. Faye looks at you demandingly. Okay, look closely to... Departments. Choose which department to modify. Random spell. Cornerstone. Well, not that one. You can look at it later, okay? Secret overdrive active thanks to, thanks to improbability department. Oh, that's interesting. So there's, there's some synergies between. Okay, so we can calibrate. Sell cores and adopt policies to calibrate the departments. But what does it do? I can talk to the staff. Gets me a policy point. Calibrate screen. I... You know what? I'm just do. Oh, okay. Wait. Basic core. What? What? Not enough cores. Hold to install a perfect, perfected core or refined core. Two policy points, three policy points. Well, let's just go with this. Okay. Experiment you can roll back at any time. Oh, spend points to improve reactions. Oh, plus two damage and plus two for every use this turn, but has a chance of disabling the department until next turn. Okay. That's fine. This is very strange. Can't really talk to her, though. Let's go over to this one, too. Okay, calibrate. Install core. Okay, so we don't have any masterworks. Can I okay, so I can only have two. So what can we do? So that increases the damage. That makes it once a turn unlimited use. What about these two? That just makes it plus two damage on un unlimited use. 
So I might as well just bump up this for the time being. And I can't get that. Leave it for later. This is such a weird game, man. Okay. Can't look at that one. Can I look at this? I mean, if it produces a random spell, we might as well see what th this does, because it could potentially work out for me. Random spell and ensures it's a needed one. Huh. That's actually pretty good. What about this one? Ah, chance to receive more. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with that. Give it a higher chance of getting me more. Okay. And we're good. I'm sure to find many applications for your gifts. Splendid! We wish you an enjoyable festival, the tall butler says gallantly. Shorter servant nods frantically, still catching his breath. With the pleasantries over, they both leave to hunt for other arriving guests of any importance. Sorceress relaxes a bit when you're alone again. Hey, you've been great at the factory planning so far. Good job. Now to the stage. Open the map. Target, allegedly. The main goal of this adventure is here, supposedly. I... I'm just waiting for another really wild thing to happen, but thump thump. It sounds like an it sounds of an assembly line. Shake your head to the beat of the industrial re revolution. Resist the temptation. Nope. A pragna pragmatic woman jump jumps from the makeshift stage in the middle of the conveyor belt. Workers do not lift their heads from their work. Miss Faye, not a second too soon. Your talk is ready. Anita, the sorcerer smiles and does a little bow. It is. Great, your presentation goes here. The director points to an empty easel, and we can start. Faye's smile becomes a little mechanical. Our presentation? Anita is quick to grasp the situation. Not an issue. This is an art festival. There are plenty of artists around. And I hear your overseer is good, very good with people. She nods to you, professional to professional. Faye breathes in and out. I suppose. I'll prep up the stage some more Well, you are away. Everything will go smoothly, trust me. What? Okay, so... We have a couple of things we can do. So, we can do a duel. Overseer's Collective. Invitation for their latest challenge. Artists. Tavern. And another battle. I guess I might as well do artists first. Seems like a super appealing game. No nonsense, pure nonsense or something. It's great. I love it. Two artists are completely engrossed into their work. Hunching over their easels. Painting a person of, as obvious at first glance, an extremely uh, extreme royalty. People are discussing the scene in heated whispers. Artists, they do presentations, right? Uh, let's see. Let's find the most dadly looking man. You take a step towards the artist, but quickly you are quickly hissed back by the crowd. Don't distract the masters. Who are you even? Artists not to be meddled with. Nothing doing. Artists are under a crowd's watch the crowd's watchful eye and cannot stop the competition. Unless the crowd's attention can be diverted. Uh, let's see. So I need to... I'm not an art person, not a sorcerer. Does not have a lot of money. So let's leave. Yumiki, sorry I did not know no face and take a step back. Crowd Beast is calmed down and returns to producing odd whispers of the artist. Okay. Worker... Uh, psst, hey you, the worker says, startling you. She wasn't there before, right? Woman in the uniform in the uniform overalls wait in uniform overalls was not there a second ago you swear did she quietly run up and sit there at the translation of the writing on this is a little skewed but whatever I see you've got nothing from the royalty and now you notice the working class around you typical but tell me what are you up to uh I need to get the artist to draw things for us uh, let's see but well, they're busy at this competition the crowd keeps them hostage and this is completely all right, she snaps her fingers. Several people turn around to look at her for a moment. Damn, she commands attention like you've never that you oh, like you'd never dream. What you need is the dirt. Um, I like my hands clean, thank you. She rolls her eyes. Give people something to talk about. That's Infanta Am Amanatu right there. She points at the stage. The wealth wealthiest person in the kingdoms. No one gets this rich without leaving behind some dirt. And I know just the place to dig up some. Right here at the gates. She hits your map with her finger. You carefully mark it. Corporate espionage. The info heist. How exciting. 
Wait, what's in it for you? Because we need the damn place to work. You think Zavod just randomly has an amphitheater around? That dumbass competition is taking up our centrifuge for the before oak refining. What's there? Royalty travels with an entourage. The only one here is in the east wing. All right, let's go do a heist. Okay, then you're looking at the new. Th uh, you're looking at the new. Oh wait, no. Okay, then you're looking at the new thief in command. You pointed yourself with both thumbs. Don't approach me again, okay? <laughs> I am such a dork, and it's great. Duel, possibly. Hooray! Time to go fight. A massive train of carts takes all of Zavod's east wing. Infanta's royal entourage. Shit, security. Faye points at a bored bureau's agent, standing guard before the carts. He won't let you rummage around easily. Your sorceress looks around, thinking of a distraction. Look at the agent for clues. Something weird about this guy. You look at his strikingly unremarkable features. And for a while and while for a second you think you see him, the moment you look somewhere else, his face is gone from your memory. What were we doing here? Look at that agent maybe. Find some clues. You make a mental note of the agent's appearance and look around to see what else is happening. What were we thinking about? Is it just loot? Oh, we really should look at the agent, yeah? Agent stands there, pretty bored. You grow bored as well in a second looking at him. You turn your gaze to... Wait, what were you saying? I think I missed it. You nod to the agent. It is polite, it is polite to do when you make eye contact with the person for the first time. He does not react, though. Rude. You roll your eyes and, uh... Hey, what's this eye roll about? Less attitude, more at looking at agents, okay? Mm. You look at the agent for the first time and... Overseer, quit staring. It's not polite. We have a heist to plan, remember? Staring, what's she talking about? You at least come up with a plan to distract him. Okay. <laughs> I love all of these options. They're so good. My brain is so slowly melting. So pay him off, unionize the bureau. Tell him I don't give, <laughs> give an F. Oh yeah, his face is glitching out. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Anyway, unionize the bureau? Say, is the bureau unionized? We can do a little picket, you know? Stir up the shit. Stick to the... Stick it to the powerful. Overseer, when we return to Edge Harbor, we seriously need to talk about your, uh... politics ideas. But here's what we're going to do. I'll duel him, and you look for the dirt. Right during the duel, you're gonna fight on your own? Who's gonna steer the... Who's gonna steer the factory, you? He laughs. Don't be silly. I know these bureaucratic government types. Their magic takes forever. It's sort of awkward, really, but you'll have quite a window of opportunity. Still, we should prepare. This will be a duel of attrition. We need as many turns as we can get. Here, she writes a request in thin air with her staff. A new department approaches your factory. Go build a factory for stalling, not damage dealing. Effects and shit, yeah? Okay. So, build a factory. Select rival's department to disable. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. And... Everything ready? Let the heist begin. Start duel. Okay, you're a professional now. Hey, big government, what do you think of tra the traffic jam of 83? Bureau's agent drops a cigarette in shock and takes an angry stance. His face is, uh... Always annoys them to hear that. Faye mentally smirks. Alright, wheels of heisting are in motion. Okay. Well, I'm not supposed to kill him, so I guess I'm just supposed to do whatever. Okay, so we can... Let's see, freeze, fire damage, ice damage. Okay. You don't have to use all of your spells. I don't have to. But that's okay. Freeze another one. Okay, can't use that multiple times. Holds your spell into next turn, does some extra damage. Could do fire. But yeah, let's just hold it until next turn. Okay, you have a second while the agent uh, goes through, uh, through bureaucracy hell to approve his turn. You look around, where could you find some dirt on Infanta? 
Cart filled with sacks where not a single important thing can be. Covered cart. Apparently some papers inside? Self-moving cart. Oh my. Would the engineer show you how it works? Or oh, fancy wagon. Hmm. Chest. The money spell. Check the sacks. Quietly slip into the cart filled with sacks. On closer examination, you find nothing else. Slim chance. Is there nothing there? Fail. There are plenty of things here. Sacks mostly. Plenty of sacks. You cannot, cannot imagine what Infanta does with these things. Move sacks around to find something. Uh, let's see. Rummage around. Try to put the next sack to the side, but it's surprisingly heavy. You sort of push it out of the way as much as possible with the strength of an office worker. Nothing. Push the last sack. You push the last sack with a note of sadness in your movement. Time to say goodbye to that this little cart. Back to the duel. Car sucks. Oh shit. Well, this is gonna hurt. <clears throat> or not? Well, that was confusing. Okay. So now that we've got that. We want to freeze that. Can't freeze that again. We get another ice, which is not helpful here. And yeah, I can't freeze anything. I can only do that one to do some damage to him. Which I might as well. We don't want to knock him out yet. But I might as well get him low. You get one more chance to sneak around. What excites your thrill of secrecy the most? Uh, let's see. Covered cart, apparently. Some papers inside? Fellow thief, presumably. Oh, um, hello. Nervous woman hides her notebook in a hurry and adjusts her glasses. What are you doing here? S oh, I'm just a regular thief like you, I assume. Actually, I'm on an important errand. Oh, she whips out a pencil in a professional gesture. And what sorceress is that, uh, that you said? Uh, I don't recall. Right. Anyway, you're here to dig your nose into Infanta's business, right? I see we combine forces. Look through these papers twice as fast. She nods to a pile of parchments. Well, four thief, four thief hands are better than two. I wonder who this woman is, though. Uh... Pick one from the pile at random. You shuffle the pile thoroughly, and one parchment falls into your hands. Phase factory evaluation. Read the excerpt. Talented sorceress, overseer with opinions. I feel proud for that one. And that's what I respect about you, brother. Meanwhile, your partner in crime looks through accounting books with uncanny speed. Gotta be something here. Look at the smallest note. You note... You look at the small note. It's a recipe for soup made by one of the staff. Hey, knowledge is knowledge. Wait, what is this? She draws a paper... The paper in her hand closer. Net worth is 66 billion. She's this rich? Exactly the opposite. You realize that her... Uh, that... Or, you realize that makes her not the richest person in the kingdoms. Why is that important? The richest person in the country is next in the royal line of succession. So, she is not the Infanta anymore, if this comes out. This is huge. And that's the dirt you've been looking for, but... Let's see who will get this to the papers first. With unexpected quit quickness, she shoves you to the side and jumps into the departing cart. Edge Harbor, she screams to the driver. That journey will take two week, two, three, uh, two to three weeks for her. So cute, this non-magical transportation. Anyway, you've got your scoop. Almost like he felt like, almost like he felt that. Bureau's agent prepares to launch another spell at your sorceress. Oh no, I'm actually being hurt. Okay. Well, now it's time to just kill him. Okay, what does he have? Shock, maybe. I don't know. Let's just do the one that does damage. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? What does the spell until next turn? Fire damage gains plus two for turns? Oh well, doesn't matter. This is a very confusing game. I kind of love it though, it's very strange. Factory still gets nine style points. Style points. Parts use only one damage spell. Oh, I see. 
without getting stale. Interesting. Harbor records. Normalize tripping and slamming your shin into your bed frame really hard and putting ice on it and feeling stupid. Sorcerer Informer. This placeholder content, but in full game papers, will react on your duels and react to specific spells and shit. Oh, that's interesting. And we have more things to put in our department. <laughs> the agent makes a sound as if he, as he's going down. That's that cop. He is seemingly more annoyed by the imminent paperwork that this incident will entail. Overseer, I hope you've had enough. What did we get? Found the scoop of our lives. You recount everything the mysterious woman and you have found. Her eyes go big. It was worth it. Well, if this won't distract the art crowd, nothing will. Let's go, unless there's more news. That's it. <clears throat> Great, you're a master thief overseer and a better uh master thief overseer and a better overseer. Winning that duel after all. Let's go distract the F out of that crowd. Okay. Let's go back. I'm losing my voice though, so I think I might want to stop here. This game is absolutely wacky and I love it. And how much did that time did that heist take? Apparently more than you thought. The crowd has thinned out and any second will completely lose interest in the competition. You just have to wait now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and keep the dirt for another day? No way. Well, actually, it would be, you know, smart, but we've worked so hard for it. Strategically keep it for an opportune moment. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's what you get for working too hard. But we now have an ace of the hole. That's good, mm -hmm. right? Well, anyway, she does not wait for you to answer. Make yourself comfortable. And that's how we got the overseer's table th this cheap. Hey, that's one of the most fascinating stories I've ever heard. She smiles. I try. When yet another head falls asleep, it becomes crystal clear that the art competition stocks in the attention economy are plummeting. Time to cash out. Person of royalty gives a very royal nod to someone, and a bell sound grabs the last bits of last bits of crow's interest for the day. Time's up, dear artist. Step away from your easels and present the art to the people's court. My friends, Infanta talks to the crowd now. Please vote for the art style of your liking. Maybe your vote, which decides the kingdom's fashion for the next decade. Have to vote, Overseer. Face shrugs. Everybody's already voted and are all waiting on you. This man looks daddish. Sir Robel has produced a classical masterpiece. Exquisite brush strokes combine into the version of Infanta, more lifelike than the real one. The composition makes you feel nostalgic for time, times gone by. Let's see the other one. Dulcinea has painted a modern picture. Simple shapes, but extremely carefully placed. This work fills you with hope for the future. Nope. Dad solidarity. Vote for this. You put an X on the paper and slot it into the ballot box. It's nice to live in a democracy. And that young man was the last vote. And Fanta waves her hand. And the parchments hover in the air and flip through fast. The royal approval and a hefty sum is bestowed upon Lady Dulcinea. Everyone applauds with an invigorating energy. Robo laughs and claps, claps louder than everybody. <laughs> but I voted for the other thing. We'll get him in the midterms. That's the spirit. The crowd beast is finally defeated and everybody is happy with the climactic ending. This attention span is over. You're finally free to get the damn artist to help you. You have important shit. This... This game is weird. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm just like equal parts baffled and enthralled. The combat system is confusing. The writing is hilarious. Uh, if maybe in need of a bit of proofreading, but maybe it's just me losing my voice at the end of a very long day. Uh, but one way or another, this is fun. I can't wait to see what the 1.0 is like, just because I'm, I'm sure it, it'll have uh, more. You know, the, the whole style points and whatnot will uh, will matter, matter, matter more. I also love the art style. You know, it's low poly, but it works really well. It has this kind of like strange disconnectedness. It almost feels like an avant-garde art piece instead of a game, except for the fact that it is a game. With combat, which I was not expecting. I am baffle thralled, exactly. Take the chair. Can I? Yeah, you sit and watch the competition for a bit. Blah. I am sorry. Anyway, I think we're just going to watch the competition uh, for a while. Anyway. It is a neat game. I can't wait to try the full thing and get further confused. 
what it's neat. Uh, but for now, I'm losing my voice, and instead of pushing forward and and continuing on, I think we'll just leave it here. We've seen what this game is, barely, and it feels like it could go so much further. But for now, at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.